G'day, my name is Matthew Wood. I am a control system engineer for Australian Control Engineering. Today I'd like to talk to you about a project that I've been involved in. It's quite an exciting project. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a research aquarium and it's studying the effects of climate change on the marine structures, marine life, coral structures, etc. Uh, so ACE have been engaged to do this work and I've been working to build a control system with various components. So the system involves uh, pumping seawater um, through a pipeline, uh, through a filtration and aeration system and then uh, dosing with fresh water to control the amount of saltiness in the water. Um, once that's done, it's stored in large tanks and then um, is supplied to a network of smaller uh, aquariums where the, the corals and the, the uh, fish are, are placed and where the experiments are done. The, the, the water is temperature controlled. There's a batch of hot and cold water. Um, so that's how they model the effects of climate change by you know, increasing or decreasing or Increasing the temperature of the water, they will see basically how the, you know, the species uh, adapts uh, and responds to that temperature change. So the equipment we're using at the aquarium is Schneider Electric PLCs and uh, Cytex SCADA, um, which not just for the aquarium can be used in other applications as well. They're very flexible platforms. Uh, so we've, we've actually used it in uh, water utility, and also can be used in uh, mining, uh, public transport, manufacturing. So there's lots of different industries. So the client has given us a, a specification. So we deliver to a specification which describes how the control system should work. Okay, so we've gone through that in, in detail and basically built a control system to meet the specification. And that in the end will be what's, what's uh, tested upon during the commissioning phase. So if we meet all the points in the specification, then the control system will be fit for purpose and will be signed off. So the plan over the next few weeks is for me to head to Exmouth. Uh, so I'll be there for two weeks and I'll be doing some installation and testing and commissioning work on the new control system. So I'll be doing network configuration, point-to-point -point testing and then function testing uh, which is a typical piece of work for uh, commissioning. So at the end I guess we'll be able to you know, demonstrate to the customer what the new control system can do. The system that we build is very very uh, flexible, very powerful, very customizable. Um, and there's a lot, of, yeah, a lot of flexibility for them to add some new features. Uh, we can actually do that on the fly for them. And uh, we hope that you know, we can bring you know, value to, to them for this project and for future projects. So for myself personally, I've uh, spent a lot of time working in a water utility. So I guess it shares some um, common themes uh, with that, uh, being an aquarium, pumping water through the aquarium. But the, the application is different and the aspect of climate change interests me. Being a scientist myself, I'm very interested in that field and as well as doing the control system work, I, I'd really like to hear how the customer went with, you know, with their experience that they've done. The effects of climate change is very important, right? So it's important for our future. So we really need to invest invest time, our time and energy in, into that. So uh, here at ACE, we believe that it's a really a valuable project to be part of. So that's really it for us. We've done all the testing work in the office and we're ready to go. So we're all packed up. All the equipment's actually up there and it's waiting for us. So I'm really excited. I'll be working as part of a team, which I'm really excited about. I haven't been to Exmouth before, so hopefully get a chance to see the sites as well on the days off, of course. Uh, so that's it for now. I will update you in a few weeks time uh, to let you know what's happened and uh, how the project has gone. Cheerio.